when someone hack your Facebook account, immediately he will change your all login details including your mobile number, email address or login password. In this video, I will show you how to recover your Facebook account without any email, phone number, any other login details. If you follow my method correctly, they will allow you to add new email address as well as create a stronger password. So make sure to watch this video to the very end, otherwise you might be stuck in the middle of the recovery process. There are different ways to recover your hacked Facebook account. In this video, basically I'm talking about how to recover it just using your default web browser. If you want to learn more about other methods too, you can find whole playlist on my YouTube channel as well as I will put all the alternative video links in the description. Keep in mind, Facebook tracks every movement of your recovery process, so you have to act like you are the real owner of this account. So if you act like another spammer or hacker try to recover someone else's account, they will temporarily block this feature from you. So don't go through this recovery process multiple times. This time we are going to recover our account just using your default web browser. Like you saw in the video, these are the basic steps to recover your account. Let's jump into the full tutorial. It is better if you can use a device that you used to log into your Facebook account previously. If you can't find it, it doesn't matter, open your default web browser on your mobile. After that, go to search bar, then type and search Facebook login. Here you have to select the very first search result. Log into Facebook. Then you will get traditional login interface. Here since we don't have access to our email, phone number or any password, you have to select this option called Forgotten Password. Tap Forgotten Password, then you will be redirected to Account Finding window. Now select Search by your email address or full name. Here I will enter my full name like this. Before we jump into the full name, I invite you to find your account using your old mobile number. It doesn't matter if you have access or not. Just try to identify your account using old mobile number as well as old email address. If you couldn't identify your account using mobile number and email address, you have to stick to the third method, identify your account using the full Facebook name. Like this, enter your full Facebook name, then tap the search button. Then Facebook will list out all the accounts which have the same name. Most probably, you can find your account at the top of the list. Sometimes you will see these kind of empty accounts which have no any profile picture. This happens when you don't allow to see your profile picture to the public in privacy settings. If you have turned it off, you can't see your profile picture so you can't identify your account. So tap I'm not in this list at the bottom. Here enter one of your friend's full name. Sometimes it might ask enter your birth month or currency name. In my case, it asks enter my friend's name. So I will enter any friend's name on my Facebook profile. Under your name, under the same friend's name, they found only one account. Here, if they could find multiple accounts, they will list out here. Here, you can find your account easily. But unfortunately, even within this list, if you can't find your account, you have to go through this account finding process again. So you can tap, I'm not in this list. Before you go through this recovery process, first you have to enable these settings. If you are connected to your mobile network, you can connect it to familiar Wi-Fi network like this. If you are connected to Wi-Fi network, you can try out or you can switch to mobile network as well as you have to enable your location permission. After that, you can tap, I'm not in this list. Then you can restart a kind of identification process. This time, instead of entering your friend's name, you can enter your birth month or you can enter your current living city name. Finally, you can exactly find your account like this. Then select your account. After that, you will get this password reset or recovery window. Here, using one of these verification methods, you can reset your password. You can get reset code via email, or you can get to your Facebook application or you can enter any last password. But if you can't reset, you have to recover your account. So these are the major three steps to recover your account. First, you have to add your primary email address. After you have to verify yourself, submit a selfie video. Finally, you have to wait until the Facebook team respond to you. Here, if you have access to any of this recovery method, like if you can recover your Gmail account, I have put the video link in the description, then you can 
reset your Facebook password. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to any of these password resetting method, you have to recover your account. To go through this recovery process, you have to have this option. No longer have access to this. But some of you, this option is not available. So you have to get back this option. Otherwise, you can't go forward. So I invite you to watch the error pixin video in my video description. First, watch the video. After that, easily you can get back this option here. Now tap that option. Then these are the steps to recover your account. I explained this thing earlier. And also when you are go further, we have to go through these steps. So I will tap start at the bottom to go forward. Here they will allow you to create or add new primary email address. Then all other email address will be removed from your account. Then this email address will be your primary email address. Like this, enter a brand new email address. If you try to enter an old account or which is linked to another Facebook or Instagram account, they won't add that email address. Enter a new email address which you have access because all further instruction and notification and your password reset code will be sent to this email address. Enter a brand new email address. After that, tap get code button. Then you will get this verification window. Now go back to your email application. There is a new email from Facebook. If you open that email, you can see there is a one time recovery code. Since I provide a Gmail account, I will open my Gmail application like this. This is the email I was talking. I will open that email as well as this is the verification code. Once you use this code, you can't use this code again. So tap this code to the clipboard. After that, go back to your web browser. Then within this bank space, you can paste your code like this. Tap the keypad like this. Then the verification key will be paste. After that, you have to tap the confirm button. Then this will be your new primary email address. Now you have to verify yourself. Here they ask to submit a copy of my ID. Sometimes you might get more option than this. Sometimes enter any old password, enter an OTP code like that. It will be different to account to account. Since I have only one option, I will select upload ID option. After that, you will get this window here. They ask you to enter your full name as well as you have to attach your ID copy. First, I will enter my full name. Make sure to enter your full name as your ID copy. Now you have to verify yourself. To verification, you can attach your ID copy. So I will tap upload ID option. Then you can get this window. Here you can see major three ID types, they exit. Passport, driver license, national ID card. If you tap show more, you can see full list of ID types that they accept. Water ID card, family certificate, visa, national age card, like that. There are a lot of ID types they accept. But if you don't have any of these above mentioned ID type, there is an option. So you can tap, I don't have any of these. Now they allow you to upload two official documents instead of ID cards. For the first document, you can upload utility bill, company ID, school or university ID. For other document, you can upload membership ID or travel pass like that. You can upload two official documents. But I highly recommend you to select first three ID types. Like this, you can select any of your ID type. After that, tap the next button. Now they ask to take a photo of your ID. So as well as make sure to there is enough light. So tap next to go forward. Now they ask to allow your camera permission. If you're not allowed, you have to tap allow in the pop-up window. Then if you align your ID copy within the frames, as well as if you have turned on this toggle switch auto capture, it will capture your ID copy automatically. After that, tap next. Now your ID copy is attached to this document. Now you can see information uploaded button. Then you can see this correct sign information uploaded as well as you have to keep this thing in your mind when you take your ID copy. So after filling out this form, tap the send button at the bottom. Then you will get this pop up message form submitted successfully. Thanks for contacting Facebook. You should receive an email response shortly. So now just tap OK. Then you will be redirected to this window. Here you will get this one. 
thanks for submitting your ID to Facebook. As well as they have clearly explained what will happen to your ID copy after confirming your account. Normally, they will delete your ID copy within the next 30 days. Then you will receive a new email from Facebook. So go back to your email application. After if you refresh your email list like this, you should get two emails. But unfortunately, if you can't see it, you have to check your social section or spam folder. Then you can see there is a new email from Facebook. If you open that link, it says thank for submitting your ID. After we review it, we will send you an email with the next step. Then if you tap this blue color button, you will be redirected to this window as well as you can see here your account recovery status. The first step is done. Now you have successfully submitted our form to Facebook. Now it is in the second stage. Normally they will review it within 48 hours. After reviewing, you will get this kind of email. It says finally step to get back on Facebook. So tap reset password button. Then you will get this reset password window. Here you can create a new strong password. To that password, it is better if you can include this thing, a combination of letters, digit and punctuation mark. After creating a strong password, you have to check this one. Log me out of Facebook everywhere else, my account might be open. Someone has logged in using your old password. If you check this one, they will be immediately logged out. Final tap next to get back to your hackered Facebook account. This is one way to recover your hackered Facebook account. There are different ways to get back to access your hackered account. If you want to learn more other methods, I will put all the related video links in the description. As well as while recovering, if you got any error, let me know in the comment section. As well as I will upload separate error fixing video. You can find that video link on my channel. Or you can click this end screen video and come on over. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one. Later!